I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. Now, right now, you're turning up. On Mr. Hold up, Lil John. I got it. You now turned up with MrTellerFarrell.com, baby. Yeah. All right, after Teller Farrell, Mr. Teller Farrell TV. Let's let's talk Jay Z, Kanye West again. Gosh, the questions and the conversation is just growing on my blogs. So I'm gonna keep asking questions, having debates, giving y'all information as quick as I get it. All right, let, let's let's think about something here. Kanye West's wife got robbed. Let's put in perspective Kim Kardashian's relationship with Jay Z and Beyonce. Seems pretty decent, cordial at Maybe a little bit better than Cordial. Kanye and Jay-Z have been doing a lot of business with each other. The tour maybe would have brought them together a little bit. Maybe. Um, Jay-Z and Beyonce. Do you believe... Okay, Kanye is saying he's pissed at Jay-Z because Jay-Z only gave Ye a call. He didn't come pull up on him after Kim Kardashian got, of course, in the alleged robbery in Paris. All right, so Ye is a little pissed about that, and uh, with other things, I think it's been a culmination of stuff with Ye. But if I'm Ye, as busy as he is, and Kim Kardashian, and Beyonce, and Jay Z, wouldn't a call suffice? And knowing Jay, it was you good, okay, bye. That 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 quick, that quick, you good, bye. Why would you be upset about somebody giving you a call? You wanted more. But in this generation where y'all are some of the biggest entertainers in the world, I think a call suffices to me. Now, I don't understand the Jay-Z and Kanye relationship to how far it stems back. Kanye's always looked at Jay as somebody of a big brother. Put him on between him and Dame and Biggs. But Kanye, he at least called you. Made sure everything was cool. I think it would have been a different case if it would have happened to Kanye. I think then Jay, who all the big brothers in the world got a maybe more than just a call or at least a 15, 20 minute conversation or at least a, you know, maybe a visit or let's plan some, let's do dinner, let's when stuff chill out. You know, yeah, you're still on tour, you missed a couple of days, but you got right back on the tour. What are you really upset about? I just don't get it, guys. I just do not get it. You guys are all busy people. I just don't get it. Did you go pull up on Jay after the elevator? I'm just asking now. I'm just asking. All right. I want y'all to comment y'all responses. Maybe I'm looking at this wrong. Women, I want y'all to chime in. Fellas, of course, y'all chime in as well. What's going on? If your boy's girl got robbed, if your boy's girl got robbed, and y'all, when I say your boy, Y'all, y'all, y'all were tight in the past, but the, y'all friendship kind of has just kind of grew its course in the future. Y'all all got y'all own lives doing y'all thing at this point in the game. But you know, it's still your boy. It's still your boy. If your boy's girl got robbed, and we know that she's okay, but if you knew she got robbed, is a call enough? What would you do? Would you call? Would you pull up? How would you react to that? Right, we're just again, this is all speculation because we don't know how close they are. We don't know how close Jay and Ye are. We don't know how close Beyonce and Kim Kardashian. I think to me, it seems like more of a Beyonce call to Kim K more than a, a, a Jay call to Ye. That's just me. Maybe I'm wrong about this. Comment your responses below. Tell me what would you do if you were in that situation that I explained. All right, Alfred Telefell, Miss Telefell TV. Who else gives you debates like this one? All right, Miss Telefell TV, thank y'all for the love, time, and support. Salute. I'm out. Hey, first and foremost, I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I would love if you watch other videos while you're on my YouTube channel. Now, while you're here, people ask me all the time, how can you support Mr. Telefero? Well, if you want to support me in my future endeavors, the first thing I want you to do is subscribe to my channel. If you subscribe to my channel, you get all my content first. Your subscribe goes a long way. I get to understand my demographics, understand who support me, who got something out this video. So first things first, a subscribe will go a long ways next if you really rock with me 
donate a dollar to my GoFundMe. I have a GoFundMe link in the description. If you really want to support me, just a dollar. Showing me that a dollar and some good wishes will go a long way. If you want to support me and you want to help me with my travels, I got a lot of things coming up, but I got to get them travel fees there. I got to find a way to get there. So that can help me financially if you really want to go there. Also, a word of encouragement. Thank you, whatever it is. Talk to me in my comment box below. Comment on this video, like, subscribe, do whatever you got to do this video. I got to thank you for your time. I don't take it for granted. My name is Mr. Telefero. Now, if you subscribe, help, donate, do whatever, you can see more videos like this, more new exclusive content. I got a lot on the way. Trust me. Thank you. It's Mr. Telefero.com.